Hi, thank you for watching this video. This video contains two parts. In the first part, I'm going to show you why I will have a good performance in machine learning check based on my undergraduate computer science transcript. In the second part, I'm going to briefly show you an interesting full stack application that I built so that you can have a rough image on how good I am in programming and building full stack project. So if you are busy, you can just jump to jump to the uh, the part that you are most interested in. Let's check this out. So first, I want to talk about the uh, advantage I have in doing machine learning. You can see I get good grades in classes that related to um, machine learning. For example, the AI class, I got an A, and the logic class, I get an A. Plus, I also have good programming ability. You can see I get a A minus in CSC two nineteen. CSC two nineteen is actually the most advanced programming class in my college. And after that class, I was picked by the professor to be his teaching assistant. So let's talk about some uh, my disadvantage. When you are checking my transcript, you might think that, hey, you know what? This student is not good, doing great in system classes or language classes. For example, he only gets C plus in CC 220 and CC 320, and only a B in uh, 307 language class. But here I want to explain that I'm not applying for a check like operating system or natural language processing. I'm interested in machine learning. So maybe you can just ignore them. Thank you for watching the first part. Now I'm going to briefly introduce you an interesting full stack application that I built with my teammates. This application is for those people who belong to some uh, group that wish their group to have as many congressional districts as possible. This group can be, for example, Democratic Party, Republican Party, or race like African American, Asian American, so on and so forth. This application can help the user to win more electoral districts and get more political benefits for their group. Let's check this out. So this is the main page of our application. For this project, we use Minnesota, Maryland, and uh, Florida. But for now, let's just take Minnesota as an example. So this is the uh, Minnesota. You can see the state shape of Minnesota. Let's do a zooming. You can see these smaller clusters are districts, congressional districts. So let's zoom in again. Now you can see these colorful tiny units. They are precinct. On the right panel, you can see the precinct information changing. So for each precinct that I hover on, the right panel will show the information of the precinct. These animations are implemented by a leaflet JavaScript library, which is here. So basically for each state, district, and precinct, we add a specific layer, leaflet layer on it. And on the leaflet layer, we can do whatever animation we want. So how do we load the precinct information? The answer is we can use the answer is this listener will call a series of functions which eventually will come to this get data function. The get data function will pass the URL to the uh, related controller by using Ajax. 
this uh, this pr this controller will extract the information of the precinct and then polish it into a uh, JSON file and then return back to the uh, callback function. The last thing I want to talk about is the simulated annealing algorithm. Before we go to this topic, we uh, need to do some preparation, which is the um, graph partition. So for a user, you need to first set the number of district, let's say six, and you need to pick the state. In this case, it's Minnesota. You also need to pick the minority group that you want to use. Let's say um, Asian America, and then you click play, skip the update, and wait for a couple seconds. So this is the page after we running graph partition. Let's talk about simulating annealing now. These weights sliders help the users quantify their requirements. So after users dragging these sliders and click run, click play, the application will help these districts to check their neighbor precincts to see whether or not adding this precinct to the district will help the district become closer to the user's requirements. So in this project, I was responsible for building front end and the implementation of Spring Boot. I also helped my teammates to um, pre-process the uh, millions of data and save them to the back end. So, so far you may have a uh, rough image on how good I am in programming and building the uh, full stack project. So if you are a computer science professor who is watching this video and have any question about this application you are so welcome to just send me an email I can just go to your office and show you the amazing details about this application and if you are working in the admission office please let me in trust me you will just have another promising student after these two years